Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the icon element. I can drag it over here and there it appears. I click over here and I can change the view. For instance, I can do default, stacked, then it looks like that or framed. Actually I like framed. Then we can change the icon. You can scroll and search for something you like or you can type something in, arrow or camera. You can click on it and then the icon appears. You can change the shape from circle to a square. You can link it to something, for instance, forward slash portfolio. You can align it at the left in the center or at the right. I like it in the center. And then we can go to the style over here. So the primary color, right now it's the color of the website. I can change it to maybe something orange. You see both the icon and the border changes. The secondary color, that's the area over here. Right now it's white. You can change the color. You can go for this color. And then you can change the size. Like that. Make it really big. And you see how big it is? It still is sharp, really sharp. I don't like this color, by the way. I just say white. Make it smaller. Then we can change the padding. The size between the icon and the border. We can rotate it if you want to do that. No animation, but just how you want it to be positioned. Change the border width. Make it thicker or really small. Something like that. And then we have the radius. So we can say 10 pixels and you see a nice radius over here. You can also do it in percentage. Like that. Then we have the hover. What happens when you hover over the icon? I can hover, I click on it. The primary color, it can be a little bit darker orange maybe. And the secondary color, which is this white color, you can change it if you want to, but I think it's okay. Maybe something transparent like that. So if you hover over it, it becomes that color. Then we can have a hover, shrink or push you can play around. I like grow like that. And what you can do, you can have multiple buttons like that. Maybe one more and you can use it in combination with other elements. So if I go for an image below and I choose one, for instance, this one, then I can click over here. I can go to advanced, uncheck this link. And at the top margin, I hold my arrow down on the keyboard. And it goes on top of the icon. So what I can say at advanced, I can say Z index one. But if I go to the icon and I go to advanced and I say Z index two, it's here in front. And now you see it when it's transparent, you can see whatever is beneath it. So in that way you can use an icon. And with a few clicks, if I go to style, you can change the size, you can change the padding. Rotate, change the colors. If you go to hover, increase the border, do something totally different. And that's how easy you can change things. So this is really ugly, but it shows you what you can do with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff. And feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.